Hey guys, I'm Myself here. Welcome back to the channel. Now today I want to show you a really cool tool that allows you to customize the home screen of your iPhone. Now if you take a look here at this iPhone, the icons on the home screen look like they're sort of floating on the home screen. Sort of 3D effect for the icons on the home screen. I'm going to show you how to achieve this for customization purposes directly on your iPhone. Now as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now let me go ahead and show you how to achieve a 3D home screen, if you will, on your iPhone. Now the first thing you want to do is head on over into settings. You want to go into the shortcuts extension in settings, right there it is. Right here you want to go into advance and then you want to enable allow running script. Make sure you turn that on and then now we are all set and ready to go. Now you're going to go into the links in the description. You'll find this link right here. It'll bring you to the home screen customization tool right here. Now there are steps here that show you how to do it, but I'm going to show you here on video on how to achieve this. Now once you download this shortcut, it would actually download some files that are required in order to achieve this 3D look onto the home screen. So there's a few steps here, as you can see, I'm gonna show you how to do this right here. Now keep in mind, you can go with a notch list design. You can always go with a card design as well, which is this one here. And you can also go with a card plus dock design. And I'm gonna show you that as the process continues here to so just scroll all the way to the bottom and make sure you get right here, the home screen creator tool. And this will prompt you to add it to your shortcuts application just like so. Now, if you don't have the shortcuts application, I'll link it down below. Make sure you add the shortcut and then make sure you run it once for the first time. Just to download those files, you're going to go ahead and select your device. Now, for me, I'm going to select iPhone 12 Pro Max, which is the same size as the 13 Pro Max. So let's do that here. And then it's going to ask you a few other questions here. So are you sure? Yes. We're going to go ahead and click OK on that. Then we're going to download the content, which is the zip file. This will be downloaded to the files app. And I'll show you that in a few seconds here. Click allow on GitHub access. And we're pretty much set and ready to go at this point. It's going to tell us that it's been downloaded. Click OK. And now all we have to do is go. It's going to redirect us actually to the files app. And then we're going to go ahead and search for HSC. So H S C all capitals. And then we're going to tap in here. And then now we're going to go ahead and tap on the content right here to unzip the folder. And it's going to create a new folder with the content that we need in order to create these shadows on the home screen. So once that is downloaded, all we have to do now is go back into the shortcuts app and we're ready to go. So let's go ahead and let's go and run the shortcut here and let's create our first customized home screen experience here. So we're going to add an element. Yes, add an element here. And then we're going to go ahead and search for HSC once again, HSC. And then we're going to go into the folder and then we're going to go into the content right there. It is. We have the dock, the icons and the widgets. So we're going to go into the icons first. And then you have several options. We have the shadows, which is what I want to go with in today's video. We're going to click on shadows. And here you're going to find a few different shadow styles. I'm going to go with all the icons with the shadows on the home screen. So all the icons on the home screen do have that 3D effect. And then I'm going to click done. Of course, you'll select the shadows for the portion of the screen that you want the shadows for. We also have here the additional option to add additional layers. I'm going to add one more layer, and that's going to be for the dock. So we're going to go back once. And then we're going to go back again and select the dock. Now for the dock, I like to use these neon docks that they have available here. So I'm going to go with this one right here. And now we have two layers. We have the icons and now we have the dock as well. We're going to click done. And then it's going to ask us if we want another layer. So if you have widgets, you can also add shadows to the widget as well. But I'm going to go ahead and save this one here. We're pretty much set and ready to go. This is going to be layer. We can name it layer number eight just for the purpose of the video. Click done. And then it's going to tell us that it's been saved. And then we're going to go ahead and now click done and choose the wallpaper that we want to go ahead and select. So select the wallpaper here. And then we're going to go with this wallpaper here. I'll link the wallpapers in the description if you want to go ahead and check them out. Now remember those options I talked about at the beginning of the video where you're going to hide the dock. You can do the card plus dock or the card options. I'm not going to do either. I'm just going to go with the standard wallpaper. And then that's what it's going to look like. It's going to give us a preview of the layers on top of the wallpaper. Click done. And now we are set and ready to save this wallpaper to the home screen here. Now let's go ahead and always allow it. I'm going to always allow the option to save these wallpapers and we're set and ready to go. Now I can go to the wallpapers category here and then I'll choose the wallpaper that I've just created with the shadows. I'm going to go ahead and click the arrow to share 
and then I'm going to go ahead and use as wallpaper. Now I'm going to go ahead and zoom out just like so. Go ahead and set as a wallpaper and then click on home screen only, obviously, because this is for the home screen. And then if you have the standard wallpaper, you want to go ahead and use that as your lock screen wallpaper. So we're going to do that and then do lock screen for this one. And now we have that really cool 3D effect on the wallpaper. We have the dock and then we have the standard wallpaper here. You can see the dock has the really cool colors that match the wallpaper. And we have the shadows on the icon for that 3D effect or this 3D look on the icons of the home screen. Now let me know what you think about this in the comments down below. Again, you can add as many layers as you want depending on the way you position your icons on the home screen. You can choose that layer if you want. You also have the ability to add widgets and also shadows to widgets. And of course, the dock can be customized as well with different options available within the zip folder. I know you guys are going to probably take your time digging around this one. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.